Okay. Um, I'll be doing several videos on this on this book because it has a lot of good information. Um, in this video, I wanted to go over something that uh, was new to me, and it's something called trajectories. Um, now, I wish I was better ex at explaining this kind of thing, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Uh, this chart does a pretty good job of explaining what trajectories are. Um, when you go out and you have a quarry of stone, um, usually what you do is you break off some pieces and bring it back to the campsite. Instead of bringing back, you know, big chunks, you bring back just what you can use. So what what you find at the quarry site would be tested nodules and uh, cortical normal flakes, and cortical blades, and cortical irregular blades. Uh, what that means is these are all um, blades that you blades or, or flakes that uh, are the result of removing the cortex from your nodule. Okay. And then after you do that, if you determine that your stone is good, you start either making blades out of it or bifaces out of it. Now these trajectories don't mix together. Once it starts as a blade, it remains a blade, uh, and they call these cortical and non-cortical regular blades. And if it was a biface, it became a projectile point and, uh, or a knife. Now what's interesting as far as a napper's perspective on this is that uh, let's say I was going to the quarry site myself and um, I've got some examples here. Most of the um, tools at the galt site were made from this type of uh, nodule which is called an angular nodule and this type of chert uh, breaks off from the main formation due to weathering and cracking uh, due to changes in heat and uh, changes in temperature I mean. Now these break off from the hillsides and fall down and are harvested or picked up by the nappers and uh, tested and uh, either blades are made from these or bifaces are made from these at the galt site. Now I'm lucky I live in Texas so I can pick these up. Stuff looks just like the stuff at the Galt site. And uh, I made some, I mean I struck some blades off of some of these. These are all what they call angular nodules. And here's a blade that I struck off. Now this is this has got some cortex so it's a cortical blade. Um, I don't know exactly the, the right term but uh, if you remove a, a blade without any cortex on it, it's uh, just a regular blade. But this is cortical. Anyway, at the Galt site, uh, that's spelled uh, G-A-U-L-T in Texas, there are two, two formations uh, or two areas where you can get stone. One is from the hillsides that produces nodules like this, and one the other source just right nearby are river cobbles. Now these are actual river cobbles of the same material. That I picked up. This is all Edwards chert, very similar to what's at the Galt site. And uh, river cobbles weren't used very often to manufacture tools at the Galt site. They just left these in the river. They preferred to use these angular nodules. So once they picked up an angular nodule at the quarry site, they would start to break off uh, blades and remove the cortex and test these nodules and pick their best uh, pieces. And uh, those pieces would follow different trajectories. Let's see if I can find that page again. And uh, once it started as a blade, it remained a blade. If you were the, a type of napper that would make blades, it would stay. They would stay as blades. If you were a type of napper that made bifaces, they would stay as bifaces. Now these blades, um, 
or removed from conical cores or wedge shaped cores. Uh, and these are more technical terms for other types of blades. And they would become cortical and non cortical regular blades. This biface trajectory includes primary bifaces, secondary bifaces, preforms, etc., etc. And these, these became projectile points and knives. Now, um, from a napper's perspective, that's extremely interesting because if I was at the Galt site, let's say, and I would walk up to the hillside and see these nodules, I would start breaking off pieces and some pieces would look nice uh, for a projectile point and some pieces might look you know rather blocky uh, like this so I reduce this down this blocky one down into a biface let's say similar to this and I would you know I would go come back to the campsite with both of these pieces and say I can make a Colvis point from this or this. However, at the Galt site, that didn't happen. If you brought black, if you brought back a blade, it stayed a blade. If you brought back a biface, it remained a biface, which is very interesting. It, um, to me, what that means is there were two different sets of nappers. Uh, one group would make blades and the other group would make bifaces. They wouldn't mix the two together. And these are some more blades that I knocked off from the other side of this here. This is what they call a regular blade because it doesn't have any cortex on it. Same with this one here, except for a little bit there. These are cortical blades. When you bring these back to the campsite, they stayed as blades. With a little bit of modification, they were used as cutting tools. And if you brought back something like this, obviously it would stay as a biface. Now I've read a lot on different forums about Clovis points, and this is something new to me. I didn't realize that they actually classified these um, these trajectories separately. There's a blade trajectory and a biface trajectory and they were separate. They didn't mix the two together. And um, after these two different types were expended or used up they would make what they call edge modified and expedient tools from those. So before they would throw, it out, throw out these um, expended tools they would make uh, some ed edge modified tools. Uh, like edge modified flakes, edge modified blades, uh, choppers, or braiders, and scrapers. So, um, uh, blades were removed from cores like this, which is a conical core. <coughs> Excuse me. Or um, uh, cores like this, which I. Uh, let's see. It's not a good example. Uh, this is probably a better example of a uh, wedge-shaped core where you only take blades off of one side. You leave the other side un untouched and just take blades off of one side. And that's what they would call a wedge-shaped core. And this is a conical uh, where you would take blades off all the way around. And this is not modified. This hasn't been... Uh, this is the natural face of the, the nodule. But there are cores at the site that were prepared uh, as far as the faces and there there are like caps that were knocked off to uh, keep this consistently flat and I forget the name of that those pieces that were removed from the top of the cores but you'd have this type of core uh, this type of core and this type now I hope this is making sense uh, Again, these two pieces could be made into Clovis points, but 
at the Galt site at least, it wasn't done that way. If you if you brought back, like I said, if you brought back a blade, it stayed a blade, and if you brought back a biface, it became a biface.